What is up, everybody? It is the Chris Hefner Tech Blog. I'm your host, Chris Hefner. Uh, I just want to go over a few things that I've been uh, noticing this week or in last week. We're going to do some recap WWDC, which is the Apple Worldwide Developer Conference that, that happened. Um, iOS 12 is out. Uh, not familiar with the iPhone, that's the Apple iOS. Uh, I forget what it stands for. It's not Cisco iOS, but um, so a lot of stuff out with that. Um, yeah, some big announcements, but most of it kind of like not that exciting to a lot of people because they didn't introduce new devices. So I mean that's uh, that's that's something you're gonna get. You know, you're gonna get that disappointment when they don't they get you all jazzed up with a new shiny new toy. Um, I'm still rocking my. Uh, my old Samsung here. Got my little wireless charging pad because I've had this thing so long, and that's the only way it'll charge now. Seems like so. So what's new? WWDC. So it was June fourth to June eighth. I meant to do this last week, but uh, been busy with family and work. So San Jose, California. So they're getting Mac OS Mojave, Watch OS five, TV OS twelve, um, and iOS twelve. There's no new hardware. Last year we got the HomePod, the iPad Pro 12.9, the iPad Pro 10 and a half. Um, apologize if I'm bouncing too much in this video. I just got a new stability ball and it's keeping me on my toes, as it were. Um, so Google I/O happened. You know, big groundbreaking demos. Um, Apple software had a lot of stuff to kind of keep up with. A lot of annoying iOS 11 stuff. So a lot of people said it was kind of underwhelming. I mean, I'm. You know, Apple hasn't really impressed me a lot with their stuff lately, and that's why I've been a Samsung person now. I do like the OnePlus 6 and 5T, which I'll talk about later. Um, so, developer beta 1 um, is out. Uh, I only have a iPod <laughs> to test it on right now. Eventually, maybe I'll get an iPhone to test it on, but... So iOS 12, AR kit, augmented reality kit, that's the big uh, talking point. So walking around in the real world with the camera and having things appear in different apps. So um, the big thing they wanted to do was tweak. So they said fixing the home screen design, tweaking the mail and camera apps. Um, but all that kind of got cut down because they wanted to make stability and performance improvements. They wanted to make the iPhone faster. Up to 40% faster app launch, 50% faster keyboard display, and 70% faster camera. Um, so all the same devices that can run iOS 11 will run iOS 12. Um, the iPhone 6 Plus, 50% faster supposedly. So we'll see once my uh, iPod's on iOS 12. I'll probably post a review of that. Um, so it's focusing on security and performance. Um, AR kit, so they're teaming up with Pixar to get a new file format for the AR. Um, so let's see. There's this new app called Measure, letting you use AR to see the size of items by dragging a finger across. Um, so pretty much figuring out how large things are, like a suitcase and uh, a photograph. Uh, I guess Fender and Lego are also on board. Showing off in a demo that lets you use preview uh, physical sets on your tabletop without them being assembled. <laughs> so my kids probably wouldn't enjoy that. Um, Photos app, getting a better uh, search option. Let's see, looped live video, like a GIF. Or using machine learning to suggest who's in your photos so you can share them. Um, Siri gets smarter, because I don't know how she could be any dumber. Um, New feature called Shortcuts, integrate with apps to build voice commands. So integrate with things like the Tile Bluetooth tracker to find your keys. Interesting. Um, stocks app, okay, great, no one cares. Do not disturb in group notification. Um, seem like they spend an awful lot of time on the Memojis, which are basically a personalized emoji. So it was almost, like some of the videos I watched, it was almost to the point of a nauseam. Um, FaceTime group calling got a big update. 
So you can apparently video call up to 32 people if you're running a business that large and need to call people that way, which, I mean, I guess that'll further clog our already strained uh, networks. Maybe 5G can fix some of that. But, uh, but uh, and, oh, and uh, they got uh, watch bands, Pride Edition watch bands for the Apple Watch. Um, podcasts is coming to your wrist, which why you'd want to listen to a podcast on your watch. I mean, I, I guess, I don't know. Dick Tracy fans, watch OS 5 will let the Apple Watch become a walkie-talkie, which uh, Pebble and Samsung have already kind of done that, so that's great. Um, let's see, Pride Edition. Okay, showing some love to the LGBT. We're not going to go into that here. Um, get ready for Adobe Atmos Apple TV content. Um, Mac OS Mojave. So that's the next version of Mac OS X, and it'll be free. Um, so, but so some of the bigger features won't be coming to 2019. Um, dark mode. That was the big one they <laughs> touted. So now you can do dark mode. I guess if you got a Mac and want your browser to be or your screen to be darker, so it's not such a strain on the eyes, which you know, we got apps for that on Windows and everything else for a long time. Um, Safari privacy, sure. Um, Stocks is coming to the Mac. That's that's good, I guess. Um, what else? iPhone Small Edition, otherwise known as iPhone SE 2. Um, not debuted yet. Uh, let's see. No big iPhone hints. Redesigned Mac Pro, still waiting on that. And a new Apple display. No new MacBooks or Mac Mini. Pretty sad. But, I mean, you know, we still got the fall, so it is what it is. Um, on Apple News, that's pretty much uh, the end of it. So, ROG phone, that's the one, the big one I wanted to talk about. The Republic of Gamers phone. I actually posted a couple articles about this. Um, it's a really interesting concept. Um, I wonder if it's actually, it's from Asus, so it's not out yet as far as I know. Um, if you ever wanted a phone, like you remember Razer's had their gaming phone, uh, previously. So the Republic of Gamer, this is kind of like a space age looking phone. So it says epic performance, unbeatable visuals, total control, world beating 2.96 gigahertz Qualcomm SDM 845, innovative Game cool vapor chamber cooling system, 90 hertz display, not uh, quite as good as the uh, 120 on the Razer, but still very cool. Um, one millisecond response time. AMOLED screen, HDR visuals, ultra responsive air triggers, and advanced haptic feedback. So while you're playing the game, you're going to get feedback from where the triggers would be. Um, so let's see. So it's got a Qualcomm Snapdragon 845 and an Adreno 630 GPU um, AMOLED display. And the cool thing is, is it comes with this stuff out of the box. It does not appear that it's going to be cheap, but it does sustain high frame rates in the heat of battle. No compromise AMOLED display, blazing speed. Um, let's see what else. Unique side-mounted ports and the enhanced ultra-responsive game controls. And you can uh, program the air triggers and advanced haptics. So, engineered for battle. Uh, the front is Corning Gorilla Glass 2.5, and the rear is 3D. I think that's something to do with hardness. I don't remember for sure. Um, looks really cool. Um, let's see, does it have an SD card slot? Let's go to the tech specs. I'm guessing it's going to be water resistant of some, some bit. Uh, let's see. So, it's going to be a 128 or 512 gigs. Google Drive, 100 gigs free for a year. It's 6.25 inches by 0.34 by 3 inches. Um, so 0.34 inches, it weighs 200 grams. 6-inch display, um, always on. Blue light filter for eye care, 10-point multi-touch. Uh, let's see. So that's obviously one of the big things with a smartphone is the camera. It's going to have a Sony flagship 12 megapixel sensor. Uh, let's see, 1.8 aperture, 83 degree field of view, AI photography, AI scene detection in 16 types, food, sky, green field, paint, ocean, sunset, snowfall. Okay, that's enough. 
All right. Uh, what else? It's got a rear camera, 120 degree wide angle camera, 12 millimeter focal length in a 35 millimeter camera. Uh, front camera, 8 megapixels, uh, f2.0 aperture. Let's see. Pixel Master video recording, 4K, 3840 by 2160. Um, 1080p at 3060 slow motion support. Um, Zen emoji, live emoji, interesting. Supposed to have so dual front facing speakers, so that should be for pretty good sound. Um, DTS headphone X, FM receiver, all the wireless LAN standards, um, Bluetooth 5.0 and FC. Dual SIM capability, awesome. All the bands. Water resistance, yes. It says it has a rear fingerprint sensor, 0.3 seconds to unlock, and up to five fingerprints. Let's see what else. 4,000 milliamp hour battery, which you're going to probably need because of the screen and the, the gaming performance. USB C, ejector pin, power adapter. So, very cool. Do not see any pricing yet, but the accessory for it is the Aero Active Cooler. So, it basically helps with the cooling when you're in long gaming sessions. And there's going to be a mobile desktop dock, 48-pin connector, HDMI 2.0, USB 3.1, SATA, 3.5mm jack. Uh, what else? So pretty cool. Um, go through the top. Accessory. There's a twin view dock, uh, whatever that. Not really sure on that one. Uh, professional stuff. So we're gonna have different, some different. This is more than I remember last time. And then they're gonna have a game vice, which is basically you put the phone in these dual, dual holders, kind of like the switch, and it makes it uh, have some hardware capability on the triggers. So a little bit more accurate gaming. Not sure which. Uh, let's go to the store and see if it's actually for sale yet. Republic of Gamers. Let's see phones. Free shipping on all orders over 30 bucks. So they've just got the Zen phones right now. No uh, no ROG phone as yet. So keep an eye out for that one. Like I say, it's just an announcement, but um, pretty cool stuff. Pretty pretty awesome to be in 2018 right now for technology-wise. All right, what else? Uh, Facebook launched a video gaming platform called Facebook.gg or FB.gg, I think is the website. Um, so it gets you to add different games to your um, platform to see what you're going to be uh, be streaming. Well, let's see. Facebook.com slash gaming or FB.gg. So when you load up your Facebook, you get... Uh, Gaming video, so it allows you to browse all the different groups that you're in. So um, if you want to watch Fortnite or um, Jurassic World, Grand Theft Auto V, and you can follow your favorite uh, gaming people. But this is not a gaming channel, so but still pretty cool from the tech perspective. Uh, they're getting into the business of kind of like kind of looks a lot like Twitch, only more Facebooky. So um, we'll leave that one where it is. What else? Uh, one plus six problems. Let me see if I can find that article. That was, uh, and there's always going to be manufacturing problems, but the Chinese company, uh, one plus, they've always kind of been the, the flagship killer. That was their big claim to fame. Um, used to run CyanogenMod, mod. Now it runs oxygen OS. So this is on Forbes. So, significant problem. So they're saying something about the camera, which, I mean, the same thing happened before. A lot of times, you know, they fix the camera with a software update. So, uh, what what is it? Um, so, they're saying one area that's less proficient, which could put users' privacy at risk. The face unlock feature can be defeated with a simple photo of the user's face. Which, that's not good. I think we've seen that before for the iPhone. Uh, or maybe the Samsung face unlock. So, Twitter. I printed my face to unlock the one six, one plus 6 for the lols, and it worked. So, while the OnePlus 6 is not quite on the level of the Apple ID face unlock, 
Um, you'd think it'd be able to at least get past this. That's not good. Um, basically, a 2D object not being able to, uh, or, or being able to fool the, the face unlock. So let's see if one plus. Let's go to their site. Let's see if it's actually up. It used to be you had to have an invitation to get one of these things, but now I think anybody can buy them. Um, and the cool thing I like about them is they have lots of different cases, um, lots of different skin options. So it's really cool. It's a well-supported phone for tech enthusiasts. So looks like they're touting some OnePlus headphones. So share the never settle spirit. Pass twenty bucks to your friends, get a hundred points on. So OnePlus Six, the speed you need. Buy now from five hundred and twenty-nine dollars. So let's see, nineteen by nine display, dual camera, sixteen twenty megapixels. The OnePlus way. So there's like. Like it's like a matte black, midnight black, and I think there's a white one. Uh, water resistance, oxygen OS, fairly clean Google skinned OS. So if you're if you like the stock Google experience, you'll, you'll be pretty happy with this. They have these new Bullets wireless headphones, uh, fast charging up to five hours, listening on a ten minute charge. That's impressive. Let's see what the tech specs say. Six point two eight AMOLED display, Snapdragon eight forty five Qualcomm sixteen twenty megapixel camera, eight gigs of RAM, two hundred fifty six gigs of storage. Uh, let's see dimensions one fifty five point seven by seventy five point four by seven point seven five millimeters, six ounces or one hundred seventy seven grams, made out of glass, so mirror black, midnight black, and silk white. Oxygen OS based on the latest Android Oreo. Uh, so the 845 up to 2.8 gigahertz, so a little bit less than the ROG phone. Adreno 630, RGB LED notification, haptic feedback, USB-C, and it's got the dash charging, of course. This uh, 3300 milliamp hour non-removable battery. Um, all the Qualcomm LTE bands. 6.28 inch display. If you're looking diagonally, um, aspect ratio 19 net by 9, 2280 by 1080 pixels, um, Gorilla Glass 5, it's got all the wireless, Bluetooth 5.0, camera, looks fairly comparable, it's both Sony shooters for the front and rear, um, so in the box you get a OnePlus 6, screen protector, pre-applied, the case, fast charging cable, power adapter, tray uh, SIM tray ejector, and then, of course, all the other crap that comes in the box. So, pretty cool. Um, let's see what the uh, other phones are going for right now. If they're even being sold. See. I would assume so. So, there is a student program. There is a referral program, I guess. So, the OnePlus 5T, how much did that go down? So, it's down to $499. So, if you like the cheaper perspective and you want to get a phone out the door um, might be the phone for you so moving on to the next thing what else we got um, amazon fire tv and fire tv stick has a crypto miner malware um, basically it's using the android debug bridge and it's allowing uh, people that have rooted their phones or jo or not jailbroken but basically installed uh, uh, malware or, or, you know, root level apps on your devices to um, mine for cryptocurrency, like Bitcoin, Litecoin. This one in particular is for Monero. Uh, would you open the link, please? Or do I have to copy it? All right. This is off of one of the sites I frequent, Hackery. It's a great site for tech news they do a lot of great uh, reporting um, so traditional malware so it's stealing basically the CPU on, on regular PCs it steals the CPU cycles to mine the cryptocurrency so let's see this was the first one for the Amazon devices Android.coinmine15 
previously found on Android-based smart TV and smartphones. The Sense targeted Amazon uses the ADB. Um, Sense the targeted Amazon devices also use the Android debug bridge for uninterrupted internet communications. Um, so the mining code provided by CoinHive it installs itself as a seemingly unharming app called Test under the new package name com.google.time.timer. So once it infects the device, it attempts to use the device resources to mine cryptocurrency and disrupt video playback along with a notification saying test on the screen. So if you're a Fire TV user and your device's options are off, uh, your developer options are off, it cannot target your device. But if you have unknown sources allowed, then it can be targeted. So uh, if you want to know how to do check for that, let me know in the comments or message me. Um, so pretty much turning off the features that you know are allowed. Um, some are saying there's a total commander app that will remove the ADB miner, but uh, the other thing you can do is a factory reset. So just be careful out there. Bottom line, once you download, it can have consequences. Um, let's see. So there's a cool new camera with, it's called the Vivo Smart Camera. Uh, it's pretty pretty slick. The thing I liked about it was that it, uh, there's a lot of reviews on all the famous tech YouTubers that were doing videos of it, but it actually raises up to show you the, uh, the camera. So Vivo Smart, uh, where is it at? Is it called the Vivo HR? It's it. Yeah, it's a, I believe it's an Indian company. Um, resource limit is reach. Well, that's not good. It's not good at all. Somebody just blew up the... I'm <laughs> getting 508 errors on. I just blew up the website. That's great. Um, Vivo V5 with 20 mega... That's old. No. Show me... Let's do this. The Vivo V9. It's on eBay for four seventy four ninety. So they got some of the older ones too. The Vivo Next, which is if so, it's it's called the V the Vivo Next, the first all screen smartphone with an elevating front camera. So one of the things I if I remember correctly, this phone was pretty much close to. A bezel-less phone. Still bouncing around on this ball. It's awesome. All right. My internet work load stopping powered by potato. All right. Elevating front camera. The Vivo Nex. Um, first truly bezel-less display. Chinese smartphone manufacturer. Now, of course, it's a concept phone. Uh, they announced back in Mobile World Congress. So the all-screen dream. So production version not expected to arrive until June 12th. Um, not sure if it's out there yet. 6.59-inch phone with Super AMOLED display, 4,000 milliamp hour battery, fast battery charging. So 12-megapixel, 5-megapixel camera. Um, not quite as good as the OnePlus 6, but that's okay. Um, speaker placement. So they use screen sound casting technology that uses vibrations to transform the display into a speaker itself. So it says better bass, softer treble. So it uses the display sensor to unlock the phone. Um, comes with a smart camera along with Jovi Assistant and dedicated AI button. Qualcomm 845, 8 gigs of RAM or 128 or 256 storage. So there's two editions, both black and red, one being the Next S, a premium version, and slightly more affordable A version with 6 gigs of RAM. Uh, so it's going to be in China for the price of 4,998 yuan. That's according to The Verge. Don't know about in America, but pretty cool. Um, definitely makes other companies have to evaluate their phone design. Um, that's pretty much all I wanted to cover. I know I covered a lot, but... Uh, Definitely uh, want to get your thoughts on this, so definitely comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you want me to talk about. Direct message me. Uh, I do tech basically all day long. I love uh, love, love what I do. So um, thank you guys for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.